Uh, also, a pretty old song uh, for traditional carols it comes um, in the song, What Child Is This? A wonderful question. <laughs> when you think about, well, what child is this who has changed the course of history? You know, I always say, if you're not a believer, you have to come up with some type of conclusion. Why is it that a, a little Jewish little baby boy born to poor, poor parents in a very obscure little town, dinky town, really, um, which we'll find out later, has impacted the world in the way he has. What child is this? It's not any ordinary child. And of course the answer to who that child is is found in the Hebrew prophets. Uh, in Isaiah 9, he says, He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, and Prince of Peace. He is, he is the one that was promised of the Lion of David. And he was born in a very unusual way, which a lot of these songs we'll talk about. But uh, just going back to this particular piece, um, it's actually, as many of you know, the melody is not too original with the composer. It's simply green sleeves with one note change. <laughs> I always like to point out what that note is so everybody can you know, know what I'm talking about. If you know green sleeves, it's a very famous uh, Elizabethan uh, melody, probably one of the most famous of all. It's because it's such a gorgeous melody. So, Alright, so in, in this particular in what child is this, the note that gets changed is this. Instead of... So, if you didn't catch that, you'll hear it. <laughs> All right, so anyway, um, a man by the name of William um, Chatterton Dix uh, had composed a poem called The Manger's Throne. And in the first three, this is around the mid-1800s, and what he did is he took three of his stanzas and not, he didn't, but a, a guy named John Stainer took three of his stanzas off this poem and applied it to this beautiful melody, Green Sleeves, changing one note, and it became the famous What Child Is This? So here's my rendition for you. 